Hello there everybody, we have a new puzzle today. This one I think it's pretty hard, but it's very beautiful and also I guess uh, a little bit of educational, I think. Why to move here? Our pawns are of course going in this direction. Uh, we have one pawn up, but these two are really, really hard to defend. But we can win this if we play it right. So, uh, pause your video now and see if you can find out how White wins this. And uh, when you return, we go through all variations together. Go ahead. Okay, and welcome back. So, what are we looking at? Well, if we do some sort of random move with the king, like this, Black will simply play bishop to c4, attack this pawn, also protecting, you can place it on e6, and then start attacking the pawns with his king. That's not going to get us anywhere. And if we choose to attack the bishop with knight e3 uh, to attack this, well, black will play the bishop to h3. And from there, it will go to e6. And then the king can attack uh, here or here if we move our knight. It's not good enough. No, we have to be more aggressive. And the winning move is e6 right away these pawns were very hard to defend so it's better to just attack and get the most out of this so what are we threatening here as white well if black simply takes here well we just push our f pawn this will be a queen and the game is won and if black plays bishop b5 try to uh, cover this on e8 the same we just take here this will be a queen and we will win so after we play e6 the main line is king takes f6 and i'm going to circle back to that i'm just going to look at some other quick options for black if you place bishop h3 it's the same we simply take here also it is is unstoppable but black can play bishop c4 attacks here and attacks this and also covers if we take here now we must play e7 right away threaten to promote on e8 now black can play bishop b5 but then comes knight c3 attacking the bishop has to move and it has to move within this diagonal somewhere let's put it on e8 perhaps and now we can play knight d5 we covered this and also with threatening uh, knight c7 this is a very strong move for white and let me just go back if black maybe plays bishop c6 instead we still play knight d5 with the same ideas because he cannot take it we will promote right away uh maybe black the way king move we play knight c7 it takes here we promote and this will win for white and i'm not going to show you the whole variation here because we're going to end up in the same situations later on in other variations so let's go back okay after e6 knight i mean king takes on f6 what do we do now why do, why did we sacrifice this pawn on f6 well because after king takes f6 we have a magical knight move knight e3 attacking the bishop it doesn't look like much you can just uh, move it somewhere but look at this well where should he go here it's uh, taken and here it's uh, also protected by the knight so if he goes to h3 then we have this great move knight d5 check and look at this he cannot go here he has to go back or he take here but if he takes the pawn we have a fork and we will take the bishop and again this uh, end game will be winning. I will show you later. Okay. 
So we cannot go here, cannot go here. What about going to E2? We have the same magic move again. The knight D5 check, he takes, and this is a fork. And the same, of course, applies if the bishop goes to D3 right away. It will be the same fork. Uh, and here is covered. What about B5? Well, I think you know the drill now. Check. And we have the fork up here. And take the bishop. And of course, if he goes to A6, same thing. It's the fork here. So let's look at this now. Okay, because now we got our knight furthest away, like this. How are we winning this as white? This is actually fairly easy. Of course, he will push his pawn. That's his defense. And we have to set a strategy here for white. What are we doing? We will use the king to stop the pawn. We will go with the king to f1. And this knight use it to take this pawn. So the easiest is to start with attacking this. We can go here, here, and there. Or we can go here, here, and there. It doesn't really matter. Let's play knight b4. He starts pushing the pawn. We need to use our king to get up. Maybe protects it. Then we can go ahead and keep on attacking this. It's easy. Very easy win after this. Maybe black will do some other things. Try to attack here instead. This is also easy win. Attacking here. We are not afraid. We will just take it. And then we can simply put our knight here. And then start running towards this pawn with our king. This is blocked. Uh, doesn't Cannot come any closer. The king will take care of this pawn first. And then we will win with the pawn and the knight. And the, uh, the game is won by white. There's of course a lot of different moves to show here in the in the end. But do you get the big picture? Knight will use to take this. The king will stop here. And then we will win from there. Thank you for watching everybody. Remember to click like on the video. And if you're not doing this already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to get more followers. I enjoy that and I hope you enjoy my videos also. Have a great day. See you later everybody. Bye bye.